Now you have learned about different types of groups you can form, you should reflect on some key questions to decide how formally you want to pursue becoming an organization. The idea of forming a group can sound daunting, but it can bring greater capacity and rewards. You should always consider the environment that you will be working in. Remember, don't do anything to put you or other members of your community in danger. So, as you can see this starting a group, weigh the pros and cons to determine if this is something that would be welcome and safe in your community. Before starting a group, it is important you address two key questions. One, do I need a group to accomplish my goals? You don't have to be part of an organization. You can work on the basis of ad hoc and informal gatherings when something needs to be done and to avoid getting bogged down in its structures. A formal organization can, however, be a powerful way of getting your message across or organizing your activities. The first thing to do is to check that nobody is doing it already. 2. Should my group become a legal entity? While there is nothing inherently illegal about being an unregistered informal group, it could be viewed suspiciously by authorities and other people in some places. If you're a small organization or informal group with a simple mission, this may be fine for you. The advantages to remaining unlicensed are that you don't have to be organized in any particular way or follow any particular procedures.